Hello everyone, expat in the Philippines. So uh, we're just going to go off for a little walk down to a store that's right outside our subdivision. So uh, what I'll do, I'll take you with us to show you a few things uh, that I see when I'm walking down to the store. Uh, what I'll do when I get down there, I'll show you also what is, what, uh, is available to me. All the different types of stores that are all in, in walking distance so uh, i'll catch you at our next point see you in a couple of seconds so guys the, uh, the, uh, So there's uh, not not much chance of getting in this house without the dogs. There's another one there. Yes. So. <laughs> oh. Say hello. Good morning. <laughs> so. There's. <laughs> So uh, yeah, the the smallest dogs have the biggest mouths. And uh, oh, this dog, he uh, hello, yes, yeah, yeah, come on then. They uh, they call him Choppy. Oh, we got we got wood. Uh, let's see if I can. Hello, hi. So you see, he's got a funny foot, and they call him Choppy, don't they? Hey, hello, mate. Yes, we always say hello no, every morning. Hey, yes. So I don't know. He's, he's got a um, deformed foot, but he's a good guy, aren't you? Hey, yes, you are. So, mate, I've got to go and do some shopping. <laughs> There's the other dogs that are always. Oh, water, yep. The uh, the four dogs that are always with me. So, oh, that was my wife. So, so uh, we're at the bridge again on my side of the subdivision. So we have this river that goes through the through the middle, and uh, we'll just go over here. My wife is going. To the management office to pay our management fee. So here we have the river. And we still have water. So I haven't got my Wellington boots on. So we can't walk through there, well, I can't, otherwise my socks will get wet, but we can walk, uh, where's my finger, so we can walk around the back here, there's a street down there that we can go down to, and uh, where we're going is right down at the bottom of that road there, that's where the store is, so, catch again in a couple of seconds. So uh, if you watched my video about the houses, I, uh, I mentioned about the apartments that they, that they build. And here we have uh, six pieces here. So three at the bottom and three at the top. So they, they rent them out. Um, I think normally it's like for college students because we have a big college here. And we have a school also in the in the subdivision, but uh, this is like a new thing that's now happening around our area. So we're at our store that's in our subdivision. We go fresh uh, 
pineapple. I uh, get my bread there and eggs. So and here we have uh, every day we have what's that? Bopis. What's that? You want? What is it? Inside the huh? inside the the pig. Pig's intestine. Yeah. Makaning mayis. So that's, uh, two wrong. That's the, the uh, banana. Garlic and chilies, peppers, carrots, onions, cabbages, banana heart. So what they do, most mornings they'll drive to the market, the wet market, buy this all fresh and then sell that here. Oh, look. Fish. So that's our our little market in our subdivision. There's also the, the coffee and snacks here. And the next one is see, eggs, eggs and bread. So if I just go over here, not being knocked down. So you can see, this is uh, this is good for people who can't get around, especially the older people, and have no no money to get transport to the wet market. So they come here. So we reached the entrance to our our subdivision. That's where we're heading to. It's a uh, the GT7 Go Shopping Department Store. That's uh, our our subdivision, and the dogs are still trying to follow me. Go home, dog dogs. So these are the transport buses that takes us into the next towns. Uh, you see this one's from Massantol, going to the uh, SM Pampanga in San Fernando. So this is the store, we have also a vet, uh, veterinaria clinic. Uh, on, on this side, just uh, where's my finger? Here is the, the restaurant that I was telling you about, the all you can eat. Just down there also is the hospital. You can't see it because of the trees. So I have a hospital in the near, all you can eat store in the near, and all these little stores here. So the vets, if you have uh, uh, animals. Uh, at the top is a hotel with a swimming pool on the, oh, sorry, I'm standing in the middle of the road. So, uh, so we just swing this way, or oh, you can't see, normally you can see Mount Ariat right down there, but it's a bit cloudy today. So we have also the gasoline station, also in front of that a uh, Japanese noodle, ground noodle restaurant. And just just down there is also a cemetery. Uh, right, so right here, uh, as my camera get right here, this building here, guys. That's that one. That's where I get my or my beer gets delivered to me from there. So, gotta now try and cross this road here. Eight, get up. Bloody dogs are trying to follow me over the road. Wave to the camera. So we'll uh, up the street. So we'll, we'll just we'll just try we'll just try and get in. Yeah. So wow, we survived. So this is the store we're going into. They like their music. So. Good morning! Welcome! Long, long time no see! Yeah. Yes! 
So, we'll see. I'm fine, thank you. We'll see if they have what I need to do. So, yes, they have everything. It's, it's the rainy season, so they have the, the Wellington boots. So, somewhere in here is my wife. Mrs. Walter! Oh, there she is. Yeah. Oh. So what I uh, was after is some flannels. Are they... Yeah, they'll do, yes. How much? 30. 30. Yeah, before, they used to be over there. Oh, okay. Or they changed now. Yeah, yeah, three. How many do I have? I don't know. I think I have three or four. So if you get another three, three or four. Is enough? Yes, should be, yes. Yes, I always uh, like to carry um, some flannels with me. So... Uh, so we see here children's wear, men's wear, ladies wear, bags, sandals. Yeah, they've changed everything in here again. Slippers. Uh, health beauty products. Uh, for, the, for the house. What we got here? Home care. So light bulbs. And uh, down at the end is for the, for the kitchen, hardware, so we have here, uh, oh, tools, lots of tools, 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 tools. This would be then, <laughs> this would be then my area, normally. And in the tools, they have crush helmets. Yeah. Why? Doesn't matter. We will not try to understand. Yeah, they've, they've changed it. Or before, the, the shelving used to be uh, this way. And now they've, they've changed it completely again. But I know that's a trick. So this is all your, your kitchen things, plates, and cups and saucers. Oh, shall I try to find, just so you guys see, glasses, cups. I'm trying to find, wait, well that's the animals, pets, wait, oh. scissors, knives, there you go for your, ah, I think I found them. So here we have, uh, Forks and spoons, forks, forks. I was just about to prove to you guys, big forks, forks. Uh, wait, oh yeah, here we have uh, forks and spoons and spoons. Oh dear, okay, this door, <laughs> I was gonna show you that they have knives. They have the big, the big choppers here. Uh, like steak knives for cutting meat, but they don't have your ordinary, ordinary knives. Okay, well forget that because I have seen other shops they do sell them now. Uh, it was the same in China when I went to China the first time. You could not get forks and, and knives, only only a spoon. So shall we go down here? I think they just switched the air, air conditioning on. So, uh, so, baskets, pockets. So, your Tupperware section here. Doormats. And then uh, your typical uh, wardrobes, the cheap wardrobes. They're all plastic. You see here. Just do socks, pants, knickers, whatever, t-shirts, shorts. You don't really need big um, 
big wardrobes here in the Philippines. And so you don't need many clothes. So uh, here we go, guys. Lots and lots of slippers. Slippers. So tables and chairs for the garden. Here for the children. So let's go around here. So shoes. Yeah, we don't need them here. I think that's just for the guys that, uh, that go to school or they're, they're working. So my wife is already at the cash desk. So uh, toiletries. So we'll just go, just go through here. Oh, clocks. Lots of clocks. Although the the time the time runs different in the Philippines. <laughs> so, uh, over the back there, plastic flowers. So furniture. Have you already paid, Mrs. Walter? She's already paid, so she's waiting for me. So here you can see. Furniture, seven thousand eight hundred for a small sofa and two chairs. There are electric fans and kettles and uh, rice cookers. Uh, your your bunk beds. So there's a bunk bed there. Look. So the bottom one is slightly larger than the top one, 6,900, which is that's quite good. And then, uh, your dining tables and chairs. And this is my one of my favorite chairs. How much is this one? 3,400 for one of these relaxed chairs. Have a look at the cabinet. So this is our our security guard yeah. making sure that every how much you pay the pillow? I cannot remember how much I pay for our pillows. Three hundred. Lots of pillows. So uh, yeah, we need a cabinet for our for our uh, guest room. I don't know if you saw on our, my walkthrough. We've still got clothes in there. Is it seven thousand? Yeah, okay, we paid six thousand for ours, the big ones. Yeah, also big three. Seven thousand. Seven thousand three hundred. Yeah. How much you pay? Six. How much is that? Nine thousand. Nine thousand. That's a big one. Yeah, you That's don't. A big one. Look. Yes. Yes. How about the Dora box? They had yeah, that's down the down at the other end. Yeah, I didn't look. No. See, this is. Uh, I think what they do is this one. The parents sleep on the bottom, and then the the child at the top, or maybe the wife kicks the guy out. He sleeps at the top, <laughs> and the child sleeps. That's um, ne I've never, I mean, I've never seen that before. Yeah, we we have a table and chairs. So, so guys, I think you get the idea of what. So this is right outside our subdivision. They don't always have what we want, and then we go to town. But uh, it's, it's it's quite good. So. I'll leave it at that here guys, and I'll, I'll catch you in a minute. So as you can see from the background, we're back at home again. Oh, and I'm slightly out of breath. That was hot. So even though it's a bit cloudy, it's still very, very hot here. So I managed to get my my towels. I have some here, but there's the small ones. They're just handy if, you, if you're going out and you're wearing jeans because they, they fit better in your pocket. 
but um, I like the lot they're like dual so long so I did buy some before but uh, I needed some more so that's why we went to the store <coughs> oh <coughs> sorry so as you can see um, like I mentioned uh, there's lots of things around where I live just walking distance so uh, we have the Japanese noodle restaurant it's it's not great but it's it, it's there and it's uh, a five minute walk from our from our house to the what I sometimes do is I take the motorcycle leave that down at the security at the entrance and then walk that little bit so it's easy for me to get back getting lazy and all day uh, so right next site is then a gasoline station for my motorcycle and right next door to that is the cemetery so I haven't got far to go when I'm when I'm gone next door uh, so on the left side then uh, we have that restaurant the all-you-can-eat restaurant and uh, there's another gasoline station a new one and uh, there's uh, the newest hospital and the KFC. All in, all in walking distance from uh, where I live. Then over the road, I showed you, we have the, uh, the vets, which is quite handy for all the people here that have cats and dogs or whatever. Um, there's another little store there, I'm not sure what that is. And then the department store where, where we was in. And above them is a hotel uh, and also a outdoor swimming pool on the, on the roof. Oh, and the very important one, <laughs> the beer delivery depot. So when I order my beer, they just drive out there, slide across the road into the subdivision and then to my doorstep. So you see, I've got everything here. That I need. If, if we, uh, we don't, can't get what we want, either I walk into the town, which is like 15 minutes walk, or just pop onto the motorbike and we're there in, uh, in, in five minutes. And then we got everything in town. So even though I live in a province area, I can get almost everything I want. Uh, if it's like special foods that I, uh, I don't need, I treat myself sometimes. So as you've seen in my previous videos, I order online from Britbox, where I get my yummy yummies from. Hello. I'll leave it at that. Um, just showed you, just a walk to the department store and these like little things that, that we can see and to show you what I have um, just outside my subdivision. So guys, like, have a good week, take care, and from uh, Koi Ian in the Philippines, as usual, I'll catch you on my next video. So until then, take care and goodbye. See you guys. Have a good week.